today I will design a high pass filter that was basic passive high pass filter. Firstly, we open PSIM new project file. And then we need a component, so we pick up component in the bottom left there. We, we pick up AC voltage source, two voltage source that is one is both original signal voltage source, then one is noise. Then we pick up a resistor and capacitor. We design firstly high pass, passive high pass filter. So we need capacitor uh, firstly, and then we connect resistor also. Then we wiring the component, all the component that are present in our design board. So we select and rename the extra marking will be delayed to wiring and also rename the component and also pick up a voltmeter we adding place a voltmeter we parallelly connect one voltmeter on one signal another Signal connect another voltmeter and two voltmeter one voltmeter connected two sources that is signal and noise. Then we place ground and wiring ground and and one voltmeter is connected across resistor. And I'll select and rename the value and and we'll put the value. And this is and this we mention in noise. We know noise is small portion in the signal, so we value is small. And frequency will be uh, smaller than signal. Then naming the voltmeter. And we also kept naming the capacitor value and the capacitor name. Also naming the resistor value, resistor name and resistor value. You can put and go with name. After designing and rename the circuit, we can Simulate on and with all the component we we'll select and add and then okay we see the value in one graph we see all the value in one graph if we can all the signal see in different window uh, we can split the all the value in different window so we can select the value we see one value in one window we can split four value in four window we know high pass filter only pass the output high band frequency we see the graph analysis what is the low, low frequency and what is the high frequency and our main output 
and we see our main output that passes from the our main output we need only high frequency will pass in the output you can analyze the graph and if we run on simulation shape We follow the procedure previous procedure again because I forgot about the run simulation button. What's run simulation? What button? Zip one, zip one second. We can run simulation on. So I repeating the procedure again. This is our main desired signal that I will know. After complete the circuit, we remove the all file, delete, and we can start low pass filter. We can pick up the component from bottom line, and the low pass filter consists of one resistor and the capacitor. We know so we first we connect the resistor and the capacitor, and we connect all the two input signal connected. So we place we delete extra marking delete. And we place voltmeter across input signal, and we measure the value of capacitor output. We want voltmeter place capacitor, and one voltmeter is parallelly connected into source signal, and and also one voltmeter connect one source. So basically, we measure in output input signal, noise signal, and input and noise affected. How affected in the signal we can measure. So we need three volt meter, and we place a ground line, and we rename the value of rename the noise and input signal, and also we input the volt, and also set up the frequency. There's this following previous section we also cover. We'll follow the same procedure. So I'm not repeat again. And we put the value of resistor and also naming the resistor. Naming the capacitor value and put value and also naming the capacitor and voltmeter naming complete. We can remember voltmeter because of we can see the output graph, so we can remember the voltmeter or which voltmeter connected input or uh, which voltmeter connected in noise. Across noise, we can remember the name. In the low pass filter, uh, measure volt across capacitors. We see the value graph in one window. We can split also window. You can see in the next, and I can split all the value in individual window. So we can in all the value in one window. All the value put, meter value put in the final graph. Let's see, compare how the original signal in pass in this low pass filter. So, you see in the graph, low pass signal is passed out across the signal. Thank you, everyone, to see my video. I will cover how basic low pass filter design and output the graph. Thank you.